1860, the amount of CO2 in our atmosphere was approximately uh, 285 parts per million. Okay. Or 0.029%. Now, as of uh, 2020, it was 410 parts per million or 0.41%. So that's uh, just under 50% increase over 160 years. And, and the current rate of increase is about uh, two parts per million per year. Okay, meanwhile, the planet has warmed by about 0.8 degrees Celsius since 1880, but half of this occurred before any significant change to the CO2. This graph shows both the man-made CO2 emissions and global temperature changes from 1850 to 2010. The green line shows an increase in man-made CO2, most of it since 1940, you can see. The black line shows fluctuations in overall temperature. Now notice that the rate of temperature increased from 1860 to 1880, when, when there was relatively little man-made CO2, is about the same mm. as for the most recent period when emissions were about 60 times higher. <laughs> Interesting. Now also note that there were dips in temperature at times when CO2 emissions were still going up. <laughs> so the increase in temperature cannot be entirely due to man-made CO2. No. <laughs> uh, now that's not to say, you know, it isn't a factor, but it's just maybe not the most significant one. Right. Human contribution to CO2 emissions by burning fossil fuels accounts for less than 5% of the total global carbon budget. I mean, other factors include things like uh, changes in land use, deforestation, volcanoes, CO2 release from the oceans as they warm, yeah. uh, the breakdown of organic remains such as dead wood and forests, and you know, other factors like that. Yeah, and CO2 is just one of many greenhouse gases in our mm -hmm. atmosphere. These gases are important for life on Earth because without them, the average temperature would be about 33 degrees Celsius lower than it is now. Oh. So, <laughs> Woohoo, that'd be cold. <laughs> oh, chilly, yeah. Now, uh, now uh, nearly all of the warming effect is actually due to a powerful greenhouse gas called, are you ready for this? Water vapor. Oh, water vapor, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's only about 3.3 .3 degrees of it is from CO2, man-made or otherwise. <laughs> Yet it's CO2 that we hear about most of it. Yeah, and that's astounding, isn't it? Yeah. That water vapor is a far more significant greenhouse gas. Right, and other greenhouse gases include, you know, methane, uh, nitrous oxide, uh, chlorofluorocarbons. It, it, it seems strange that water is often left out of the climate change debate, yes. but it has a, a much greater effect on temperature than greenhouse gases. You know, maybe we should uh, focus on, you know, reducing our water vapor emissions. Mm -hmm.